we are in the Mer Temple of Pimai in Thailand. Did you know that it is similar to Angkor Wat, although at a smaller scale? Nowadays, it's located at the east of Thailand, but in the past, it was an important city of the Khmer Empire, ruled by Cambodian kings. It was founded with the name of Pimayapura, and since the conquest of Thai people, it is called Pimai. Ancient Pimayapura was protected by stone city walls with a rectangular shape. The temple is located at the center. Like many Khmer temples, also this one was enclosed by two concentric walls with a rectangular shape. In the middle of each side, there is a monumental gate called Gopura. To arrive at the main entrance, we have to cross a bridge of Nagas with two lion statues in the front. In Indian religions, Nagas are mythological snakes that guard Mount Meru, protecting the gods and Buddha from demons. The design and appearance of the buildings are similar to Angkor. Pimai is an example of Khmer architecture from the classical period. The sanctuary is surrounded by galleries with pillars. The construction materials were bricks, sandstone, and especially laterite, a red tropical clay that hardens like rock when exposed to the sun. Khmer temples usually had a pair of small buildings called libraries because they probably kept religious manuscripts. They were elevated on stone platforms. Most of the structures in Pimai were built in the 11th and 12th centuries. In that time, Khmer people were mainly Hindu. However, the temple is Buddhist. The main structure of the temple is the central sanctuary. This impressive building with the shape of a tower was adopted from Hindu architecture. It represents the mythological Mount Meru. That's why they are called Temple Mountains. Besides their religious function, in Khmer civilization, temples were also built for the worship of the ruler. He was called Deva Raja, which in Sanskrit means God King. Khmer architects didn't know how to construct through arches with circular shape. Therefore, they covered the galleries with false arches or corval vaults. And they covered the gates and doors with lintels using a straight horizontal stone. The common technique to cover windows in Khmer temples is using small decorative stone columns. The inner walls, tympanums, and lintels of the temple were decorated with friezes and staccos. Reliefs depict scenes from Buddhist mythology like the fierce monster Kala with a giant on his back. Scenes of battles riding war chariots. Or scenes meditating. We can also find old inscriptions in Khmer and Sanskrit languages. Near the temple, there are several ponds typical from Khmer civilization used as water reservoirs. Moreover, the city was constructed in the banks of Moon River, a tributary of the Mekong. Thanks for watching and we hope you like it. See you soon in our next archaeological videos from Pimai Wendy for Archaeo channel.